Yeah, hello. Uh, in this uh, AWS uh, restart program, I wish to demonstrate about this 169 lab that is using Systems Manager. So quickly, let me open this lab. Uh, this uh, I'll also be explaining about the objectives and also demonstrate uh, this uh, Systems Manager. So just before that, uh, yeah, I will just start the lab. It will take some time, and then I can access uh, this uh, lab. Okay, so the objective of this lab is to, the first objective is to uh, see that we collect the inventory to, yeah, the lab is getting started uh, and to verify the configuration and permissions. And also, we will also see this uh, systems manager to run command uh, and to run the tasks on multiple servers. Okay, new systems manager parameter store, we will also explore that to update the application settings and configuration. So once we update, we can see the changes in the web configurations, etc. Finally, how to use the session manager to access the command line. Even though the port 22 is not open, still you can explore into the sessions manager and go into the Linux server which is in built. Okay, this uh, lab is approximately 30 minutes. So there are tasks, four tasks which are there. So let me just quickly explore this uh, task one. Uh, generate the inventory list for uh, managed instances. So uh, these are the steps which we are needed to perform. So we will uh, collect the inventory and then we will also install a custom application Okay, using a run command. Uh, we will uh, do that from uh, this uh, uh, what you call it, from the sessions manager itself. Later we also use this parameter store to manage the applications. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we will uh, go through this uh, uh, sessions manager to access the instances. So these are the four uh, uh, steps which are needed to complete this lab. Okay, so let us wait till the lab is uh, ready. So now the lab is ready. Uh, let me quick uh, click this AWS which opens a new window. Okay, this is my AWS uh, management console. Uh, so now let us go into the sessions uh, systems manager either by clicking directly here or you can also uh, type here systems manager both ways you can do. So I am just going into the systems manager. I also duplicate this one just to show you that uh, there is an EC2 also uh, running in this system. Okay. So we will use that uh, EC2 for our deployment purposes. So there is a managed instance. You can see that there is a public IP address also. Okay. Let me also show you uh, this uh, has even website also, but now it is currently not reachable. So we will deploy some of the tasks and then we will uh, showcase uh, these things. So let us uh, get into the systems manager. So the first task is that go to services and launch the system manager. We are already to get started if it appears. You see this one, task number five, this one. Get started with systems manager. So you have several options here. We will be exploring some of the relevant things which are mentioned for the exercise, especially this uh, uh, parameter store okay and yeah get started in the same uh, region so here uh, configuration test you see this uh, uh, otherwise you can click this uh, fleet manager okay fleet manager your fleet manager and uh, what you can do in your account management you see this one uh, click this account management and uh, uh, we will set up this inventory 
he has set up this inventory okay so here uh, in this uh, setup inventory you can give this name optional which is uh, mentioned uh, setup inventory okay you can also see uh, the instance id also which is already selected uh, The name is inventory association where it is already uh, in an inventory association only. So the options which are given is managed instance and uh, you can uh, select manually selecting instances instead of uh, uh, selecting all from this account. Okay. And click this button one, select the managed instance and uh, you can uh, set up the inventory. Leave other things, uh, maybe 30 minutes is okay. Uh, add another row set up uh, this inventory rest all options leave it default we are trying to set up this inventory okay so yeah you can see this setup inventory has been succeeded so now let us click this uh, instance id and uh, on the node you can see this uh, let's scroll down Uh, what you can do is that click this inventory tab okay, you can see uh, list of applications should be demonstrated so sometimes if it's nothing appears just wait till a minute's time uh, you can see many things yeah so now it has collected all the inventory for this application you see inventory tab. okay scroll down these are all various kind of inventory which is av available so you can also verify during that time you have applications you have your compliance you have network resource type services uh, windows registry role etc okay so then uh, this is uh, we have successfully uh, set up the inventory we have successfully collected the inventory you can see this one so once you see all the list of applications uh, then uh, refresh okay take a moment to see that you have installed uh, and pull down so now let us install a custom application using the run command okay so here if nothing is showing you can just wait and refresh so things are okay now absolutely so let us go to the task 2 in task 2 uh, just go to the run command go to the navigation pane okay just run command which is there and you can see here there are a list of uh, pre-configured uh, what to call as uh, documents for running your commands let us see this refresh yeah there are many things which are there and uh, select maybe Yeah, in this search, uh, what you can select is that you can, uh, uh, you see this one, you can run command, once you do this run command, you can select this owner and uh, owned by me, this is the document. Then you can see there is a document which has come across, a document will be there. So let me click the name of the document, uh, yeah, you see this one. This is the description of the document. Uh, so a new tab has been opened. Uh, let me see the content of this tab. Okay. So you can see uh, there is a script here. This script contains uh, how to install this uh, Apache web server and also it installs the SDK, okay, uh, development kit for PHP and also it installs the application. You can see this action also it installs the application. So this is a script which I want to run 
and afterwards let me see that the website is running so uh, yeah so now let me run this command let me run this command so that uh, yeah okay so i have already chosen let's see the target specify uh, the targets instance choose uh, instances uh, I'll choose this option instances manually and I will select the instance here to run this particular activity. Uh, scroll down. See, I have already selected uh, the managed instance. So, this uh, managed instance has already a system manager installed. So, the agent will uh, now configure your uh, Apache web server uh, in this particular one. Okay. So, scroll down yeah you can see this command line okay scroll down you can uh, uh, if you want yes you can copy the script you see the script which will run this particular script will run i can open in the notepad and just explore uh, what this script is really okay so what happens is that once i run i just click this run so this script now will execute okay so it will take a minute's time so once you see this successfully okay you can copy the server ip uh, maybe let me see whether it's run or not still in progress yeah it is successful now uh, things has been run now we can copy this IP address. Now you see this uh, uh, website is now running. You see this output also is running. So in this way, you can deploy this, uh, I mean, uh, run these commands for using the system manager. This is the end of uh, task two, okay? So this is the end of task two. Now let us understand about the parameter store to manage the application settings. So what we are going to do, in this uh, parameter store go to parameter store uh, yeah here let us change some of the uh, application parameters so or create a parameter you see this one create a parameter and then the name of the parameter should be something like exactly you see this uh, uh, copy so that the application will, ga will gain access uh, uh, from the system so you see what will be description is optional but still you can copy this one exactly and also value should be true this is this parameter for the application to run standard value is true okay true and save this particular one in the dashboard right scroll down say create a parameter you should see the parameter is now created okay so uh, now again what you can do is that uh, you can see the copy the server ip uh, now refresh you should see uh, something more additional things should be coming in this uh, uh, website you see this one the graph the second graph is also increased so that the application gained the access so this is how uh, right you can use this parameter store this is about the task three and now let us also understand about uh, what we call as uh, the sessions manager to access the session access so let us go to the management console and use this uh, sessions manager so this is uh, now you can see this uh, sessions manager just about run command So you can say start the session. You can remotely learn. I'll tell you one important thing before I do this one. So here, uh, as I am into is to see here, uh, when I explore the security, when I explore the security, there is no port 22 which has been opened. See this one, there is no port, only port 80 is there. Now I am using the system manager, you see this one, system manager, I will start the session. 
okay so session will be shown here okay you can say ls hyphen l to see all the uh, we can explore this one we can explore all the commands which you are into you can ask which directory user bin you are into okay let us uh, learn about something maybe you can ask your uh, website ip or something like that ls slash var html will displace you the application uh, items which are there okay and also just try to run this command the following command get region and also the ec2 describe instances it will display you this one so just copy text okay so it will give all the instance details okay all the parameters values etc right which can be even redirected to a disk uh, we are fine. So this demonstrates of how system manager session can be used to log into an instance without SSH, without using SSH. In fact, this instance does not have SSH port 22 open. Optionally, you could open. So actual access to a session manager can be restricted via IAM policies. So some people may feel that this is less secure. So you can restrict this one via uh, IAM policies and then. Uh, and uses is locked only uh, in uh, uh, cloud drive so this will be displayed in the log this provides much better security and auditing than traditional ssh access so yes we are done with the lab once you are done with the lab yes you can uh, end the lab we can end the lab uh, at the top so the resources gets automatically deleted so thank you everyone and bye